How's it going? I don't know where to set you, but hi. <laughs> this is my first official day after my birthday of being 30. <gasps> Yay! And I gotta say, I'm doing good. I'm actually doing good today. Uh, no more crying, <laughs> just definitely. Um, had a great barbecue yesterday out here in the backyard. We were grilling on the grill, which is over there. We got the big grill and the little grill. The big grill. The little grill! And we got the table set up. Of course, that's the little fire pit we have. And of course, this table with chairs and an umbrella. Sorry about the brightness. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much what we got going on, or we had going on yesterday. It started raining in the middle of us all eating and talking, and we had to bring it over to the front porch where we have another one of these tables and all that good stuff. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I had fun. I had a good time. It was awesome. Yay. It was definitely relaxing, uh, which is pretty much what I needed, you know, because when you hit like a milestone birthday, you're already anxious enough. You're already like driving yourself crazy over it and then by the time that you're done with it you just want to relax. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what I've been doing. I've just been relaxing. <sighs> Today's Thursday and I'm just pretty much chilling out in my backyard. I was talking with my friend Bill over the phone. We're pretty much gonna be hanging out tomorrow. I've known him since I was like 16 so he's like a brother to me so we're definitely gonna hang out celebrate catch up because I haven't seen him in goodness knows how long but we're gonna be doing that oh, I'm trying to find a good spot to set you and I can't this is what I am wearing today I got a tank top showing my flabby gut oh yeah I got my shorts on and that's when one of the things that I realized that kind of changed about me um, as far as what I'm wearing, because now that I'm like sitting and I'm thinking about my 20s versus now, um, I'm becoming a lot less self-conscious. I'm less likely to browbeat myself over small details that in the end won't pretty much matter. Um, and I honestly think that I was a lot like that in my 20s because like, I worried about what people thought of me. Even though like, when I was a teenager, I gave a crap less what people thought about me. In my 20s, I started caring about what people thought about me because that's when I started to take my life more seriously in all areas. So, you know, I was, on that note, I was pretty much almost to the point of obsessed with how I would look at a certain occasion, like let's say I'm at work or I'm going to a business meeting or something, I had to dress up to the nines, like I had to be perfect. Um, and that's pretty much like, that's pretty much how obsessive I was about caring about what people think about me. Because in my 20s, I didn't have all the experience that I have now. Um, so being that, you know, I was pretty much taught by corporate America to, you know, dress the part and learn along the way. I did. And, you know, I had to be obsessive about my appearance, how I looked and all that stuff because I didn't exactly have all the experience that I do now. And uh, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about what I'm wearing, you know, versus what I wore. <laughs> um, you know, in regards to my professional life how I dress. Like I said, I used to dress to the nines. I had to be perfect. I had to look perfect. I had to like really act the part um, in order to get the experience that I do now. And um, I'm done with doing that. I'm done with obsessing on my appearances and worrying about what people think about me. Like, I know that in my 20s, I would either wear skirts or pants. I would never wear shorts. And I can never understand that. I could never understand that. But now that I think about it, I think the reason why I did that was because I was self-conscious about my legs and the way that my legs look. I was worried about my appearance, again, and what people thought about me. And that's on a personal level. So <clears throat> I'm pretty much done with that. I'm done with worrying about what people think of me as far as you know my appearance goes even though a lot of people say that your appearance says a lot about who you are and your personality I have to say in a youth obsessed and 
celebrity obsessed world you know of course that's going to be the mindset but it is not exactly the truth I mean the fact that I'm wearing a tank top pair of shorts and sneakers does not define the person that I am it certainly does not define my experience and what I know in all areas of my life and it shouldn't so I just had that epiphany today and I thought that I would share that with you guys because this is something that I think a lot of the younger people need to hear especially you know when they're in their teens their twenties you guys really have it rough you do you do because when you're a teenager you have to worry about your grade point average your early twenties you have to worry about your grade point average or whenever you choose to go to college you have to worry about you know your skill set and actually gaining experience whether it's through um, the educational system or experience or both you do have to worry about your performance um, and because of that there's a lot of like stress and anxiety that's put on you so on that note and because of that you do have it rough um, I know because I've gone through it but now I'm at the point where you know I, I haven't completed my education my college education but I've completed high school I've learned a lot in my field um, whatever field I choose to be in because I either you know openly admit that I need to be trained and that I need the knowledge you know from a reliable source or I teach myself so I know that I'm never done learning I understand that but I do have a good amount of experience and because of that I don't have to worry about what I look like anymore I don't have to look the part to be the part you know what I mean so because of that I don't all that stress and anxiety as far as that goes gone totally gone I mean, there is always going to be a part of me that's going to be conscientious about my performance, my experience, and how well I do, and my skill sets. Um, also about how I treat people, the people that are in my life that I love and I care about, and the way that they treat me as well in return. Um, I'm always going to be conscientious of that, always. But I. Th I think I'm at the point now where I don't have to obsess on it. I don't have to worry so much about it. I don't have to micromanage it in order to be satisfied with how my life turns out or the way it is right now. Um, so that's my experience after turning 30. And that is exactly the epiphany I had and the conclusion that I came to. I already know that I have my experience. I know what my experience is. So I don't really so much have to prove myself to people anymore as I just need to exercise the experience I have through what I do. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm just going to sit here in the backyard and enjoy myself. The humidity level has gone down quite a bit, which I thank the, the universe and my lucky stars for. <sighs> because I could breathe. I don't have to sit in an air-conditioned room inside all day. I can actually be outside and enjoy the weather. So I'm very thankful for that and I'm going to be doing that today. Yep. Today's just going to be a day where I'm going to hang out outside whether I'm just sitting in the backyard or I decide to take a walk. I was telling Bill over the phone earlier I was going to take a walk because I feel like I've become physically lazy, which I have. I'll admit it. I'm not browbeating myself. I really have been becoming lazy. I mean, you know, it's <laughs> physically I just have not really done much and I really should get on that and, you know, get myself back into it again. Becoming more fit and healthy. That's one of the things that I really should focus on is becoming more fit and healthy and just leading a more active lifestyle. <clears throat> I do need to do that. So, with that being said, you all, thank you so much, everybody. I'm serious. Dude, I'm serious. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Everybody who posted comments here um, on YouTube, video response, thank you. Uh, I didn't watch the video response yet. I'm about to when I get back inside. I just needed to come outside for a while and enjoy the weather. Um, also, everybody on Facebook that shouted out to me wished me a happy birthday and 
gave me the love that you guys did. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, some of the videos that you guys sent over and, you know, birthday cards and stuff like that, really cute. I loved it. <laughs> thank you so much for that. That really did warm my heart. Uh, thank you so much for thinking about me. I so appreciate it, and I love you guys. All right, I'm about to rock out and just enjoy this weather. I'll catch you guys later. Have fun. Bye.